hello guys and welcome back to a new video today tonight actually it's freaking freezing it's super cold and it's the perfect temperature to test the tesla model y and tesla in general uh, my model is tesla model y with lfp battery standard range 2023 and i heard so many people on the internet uh, actually the fans of the thermal combustion engine cars that says if you get stuck in the winter like it's today crazy winter it's it's ice on the road it's around minus five degrees and they expect in the night to be around minus eight minus ten degrees so in europe at least in most of the countries uh, this is a temperature that it is only in the winter you know and not like every month every day is just probably one month from all the winter so expecting minus eight degrees it's windy this is the worst thing when it's windy in the cold weather you feel it even more cold uh, i don't want to stay too much outside i just want to show you a little bit on the ground how is the ice right here and how cold it is and look at the sky you know when it's super cold the sky it's a little bit red and this is tesla model y standard range with lfp battery 2023 and you can see the ice it's even on the on the oh my god my hands are crazy frozen and i just charged the car like one hour before i leave it a little bit here to get cold and tonight we will leave it here for 12 hours because people said i, I want to go inside let's go inside i can i can i can barely stay outside man i mean it's so freaking cold i think even the water inside the car it's getting worse and, and ice but the thing is like that i will leave it in the night outside for 12 hours heating on 22 degrees right I will put it on the camp mode, sentry mode activated, and we will see after 12 hours in the minus five degrees, minus eight, or probably even more in the night. And we will see tomorrow at the same time what kind of uh, consumption and how many percentage it still have. I will leave it like that for the whole night. So uh, first of all, uh, Let's start with the uh, percentage. I have right now like 75% battery, 307 kilometers. And the time, it's almost two o'clock in the night. So tomorrow at two o'clock, I will stop the heating and we will come here and we will check how much the battery percentage was uh, down. And also I wanna go to sentry mode. Let me show you. I will activate the sentry mode right now and I will show you also some shots when I get home. My Look at the hands, man. They are super red. Uh, and I stay like three minutes outside and minus four degrees, but they are, they are not minus four degrees. Um, I can also show you on the phone, but I film with the phone right now. There are, there are definitely minus 500% because uh, I drive a little bit earlier. I was charging the car in underground parking lot and then when i we go out it's going slowly slowly one degrees one degrees one degrees but you will see later will be even more anyway doesn't matter it's minus four degrees five degrees it's windy it's cold i leave it here uh in the in the uh wind let's say like that and also you can see on the road yourself it's icy everywhere you can see uh how it's glowing on the ground and the thing is like that 307 kilometer 75 percent i will go down here and turn on the climatic system i will put it on auto or actually i will put it on camp mode go to camp mode 22 degrees and i will leave it like that for the whole night just like that 12 hours and we will see how many percentage we will get in the morning after 12 hours this is really interesting because many people said on the internet if you get stuck in the snow what happened with your car you will don't have any more energy okay so i have 75 percent battery I, I start driving with 100 i get stuck at 75 percent 
let's see with how much battery you can get out from the stock and let's say i get stock but i still want to have 22 degrees inside the car and i have a a nice pleasant temperature inside the car so that will be the settings let me yeah low 22 degrees the car will keep this uh temperature until tomorrow so i will leave it like that i don't want to touch anything this is just automatically just like that no defrosting nothing just 22 degrees winter time automatic low camp mode all night sentry mode activated this is the way it goes until tomorrow let me show you one more time the sentry mode and then we will see us safety sentry mode on okay and guys see you tomorrow with the result just arrived home right now if we go to the climatic here information we can see that inside the car right now there are 22 degrees and outside minus four down here it is in camp mode still in camp mode let's say as we leave it and it's still blowing hot air inside the cabin and up here you can see right now it has 74 percent battery 303 kilometers interesting now let's see in 12 hours how this will look like all right guys now is the moment of true after 12 hours the car was running all the time the climatic system the heating was running all the time 22 degrees look at this outside it's, it's still 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 super super cold i hope i can unlock the door yeah i managed to and i want to go check this out oh my god this is incredible camp mode you see right now tap to dismiss okay and right now you can see that the climatic system it's still running from for 12 hours continuously outside our minus six degrees uh in the night a little bit earlier was minus eight degrees so it was super cold outside uh here in the parking lot they put a little bit of salt but it's everything it's so frozen it's so cold and we still have 50 percent battery from 75 to 50 percent so that means you lose 25 percent battery in 12 hours inside it's super hot it's super good the weather but this is uh the result guys i mean 25 percent. you get stock for 12 hours you have the best ambient temperature possible because you can stay also in t-shirt at 22 degrees inside here it's super super warm and nice and the sentry mode was on all the time for 12 hours until right now and uh, you still have 50 percent battery to to move on i'm really curious to see a thermal engine car a diesel or petrol car that's running for 12 hours at 22 degrees keeping the temperature inside i'm really curious how much tank we'll still have really curious maybe i will try this out maybe i will make a video compare uh, a car an electric car with a um, thermal diesel or petrol car that would be really interesting to see how much energy we lose and if you still can, if you can still drive and you still have 50 percent battery right 205 kilometer that means if you are not in the desert or in a place where you are miles away for from other city or something like that you will still manage to easily go to a charging station or at least to a socket to charge the car and if we go like that for another 12 hours that means you will lose another 25 percent battery and then you will still have 25 percent battery in order to go somewhere so in 24 hours i think there are so many people that can help you 
that you can call uh, and stuff like that and you don't even need to keep inside 22 degrees because if you go lower than 22 degrees you will have even more energy right you don't have to stay at 22 degrees like you are on the on the beach in miami or something like that i mean you can also uh, manage the the energy uh to have less energy less uh, temperature inside like 90 degrees it's also super fine so guys i hope the video was useful um i i hope this video answered a lot of question of you if you get stuck in the snow at at minus degrees uh, at least I didn't try it in minus 30 degrees. Maybe if I have that, I will try this too. But minus 6, 8 degrees, I think was also minus 9. I'm not sure. But when I wake up, it was like minus 8 degrees outside. And I I'm quite impressed. I was expect to lose more energy. The sentry mode was on. The heating was on. Uh, those are the results so guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see these kind of videos in the future and test and if you have ideas i wait your comment and your feedback i'm really curious what you think about that write me down there and if you will do something different here i'm, I'm really looking forward uh, to hear from you it was so cold outside that you have this warning that it says like the temperature the the pressure in the tires were were uh, going low because of cold weather so super interesting anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video uh, i hope the video was useful if you want to buy a tesla uh, i will leave the referral link in the description also uh, on the screen so you can use mine you will receive some credits and i don't know these days credits or discounts uh, i will leave it there and also if you are, if you have question or if you need help i will help you with pleasure so that was the video don't forget to like share subscribe and stay safe we will see us in the next one bye guys